Hey, what's going on guys? Ghost Axe here and today we have a very special review. It's actually a review of the keyboard I use every day. So I'm super hyped to do this review because I really love the product. Obviously there's things I don't like about it, but we're going to talk about that in the review. So let's get into it. So maybe you're looking to clean up your desk, uh, get a wireless keyboard, but you don't want to spend too much money and you only need a 60%. Well, the RK61 is a great keyboard. I've been using it for a while and that's what we're gonna be reviewing today. The mechanical feel of the keyboard makes it so good and honestly, it seems like a quality switch. From my understanding, the switches come in-house, so RK actually makes them themselves, uh, but they do model off of, you know, the other switches. Now, I've been using my keyboard for a while now. Uh, I would say maybe four or five months, and I have to say, it's actually better than my Corsair keyboard I had before. And that was fully mechanical everything. So kind of the same thing, just made it a lot shorter with this one. Now, coming from a full-size keyboard, I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, uh, you know, it, it's a lot shorter. It's a lot better because I have a lot more desk space um, and mouse pad space for my mouse. But I really didn't know what I was getting into, but honestly, I love it. The amount of space it frees up on my desk is immense. It is incredible, and I could never go back. So at this point, you're probably saying, well, Andrew, it's not perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get into the flaws, or at least what I have found after four to five months of use of what I actually don't like about this keyboard. Now, I keep my keyboards pretty clean, and at first I thought this was dirt, but it's not. This is actually a scratch in the paint in the keyboard. So the paint is not completely durable um, but other than that the rest of the keyboard looks great my second kind of bad point i want to make about this keyboard which there's not many bad points it's a really good keyboard is getting used to the key binds because it's a 60 percent is a little difficult it took me a little bit of time to figure out you know hit fn and then hit this and this and this and uh it just takes time but you're gonna have that with any 60 percent keyboard now under the good points well, as you can see, the lighting is incredible. Also, if you were to put some pudding keycaps or something else like that on here, wow, this thing would shine. These are the stock keycaps and it looks gorgeous. As well as that, the uh, lighting is actually fairly easy to set up. All you do, uh, even if you don't wanna use the app or anything, you just hold FN and hit this button and it changes the lighting modes just like that. So it's super, super, super simple. You want them off, there you go. I think now I have it, oh yeah, so if I tap it, it goes through. Absolutely beautiful. And I feel like the keyboard review is never complete until you do a sound test. So this is the sound test of the RK61. So now the point that you kind of all been waiting for, you, why you probably clicked on this video, is it a good gaming keyboard? Well, yes it is. If all you're doing is gaming, this is an incredible choice. Um, I am also a graphic designer, so I do a lot of that stuff as well as video editing and well, it's okay. Um, I wish it could be a little bit better um, because you have to hit all these keybinds and stuff, but that is just the nature of a 60%. Other than that, yes, this is an amazing keyboard. I would not trade this for a full-size keyboard ever in my life. I, I, I love it. Um, never given me any issues and it's rock solid. You can plug it in, use it with the USB-C, or you can do it wireless, just like I have it, to keep your desk nice and clean. And then that brings me to my conclusion. Is this the best 60% keyboard on the market? Well, I don't know. Uh, this is the only one I've ever tried, but it has not given me any issues, and it's an incredible keyboard. So, yes, I love the RK61. I will not be switching anytime soon. It's an incredible keyboard. I love the white color. The keycaps are amazing. The switches are amazing. This is the keyboard to get if you're on a budget and you want to free up some space on your desk. I really hope you guys enjoyed this keyboard review. I really had fun filming it. I really appreciate you guys in the comments section. I love replying to comments, love it looking at them. Um, I love to see all the likes and stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying the content I'm putting out. And uh, yeah, so till next time, guys, peace out.